Hello everyone, welcome back to the mechanical engineer. In this video, we are going to model a machine handle. So the machine handle has four parts. First one is the lever and a ball entered tapper pin, a nut and a bush. Now let's get started. In the SOLIDWORKS, click new and choose part. I'm going to start with the lever, choose the front plane, click sketch. Draw a circle, go to smart dimension, the circle diameter is 50 mm, go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a depth of 37 mm. And again select the front plane, click sketch, draw another circle. The circle diameter is 40 mm and the center distance between the two circles is 100. Click control, select the two origin and make it as horizontal. Now the drawing is fully constrained. Go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a height of 25 mm as given in the drawing. Now again select the front plane, click sketch. So you can use control 8 to view it in the normal direction. Draw a line. Between the circles. And connect it. Now. Click control, select the line and the circumference and make it as tangent. Now so the drawing is fully constrained. Go to features, click extruded bars and this, it, this is not a sketch plane because I am going to extrude from an offset distance of 3 mm as given in the drawing. Okay, so you can see that I have given a 3 mm gap and the extrude Depth is 5 mm. Okay. Now select the top plane, click sketch, select the line tool and draw a line from this location and finish it here then continue the line. Now you can join with the extruded part and come back and we can close the loop. Okay. So here I have created three separate lines. I will tell you the reason. Now go to smart dimension. Mark the gap as 3 mm. Similarly here also from the face to the point you can provide 3 mm. So if you draw it as a straight line then we cannot give the dimensions. So if you cannot give the dimensions we cannot directly construct the drawing and you can click control select the three lines sorry you can click control select the three lines and make it as collinear. Okay. Now this line is fully constrained so we don't need to make the line fully constrained go to features click extruded bars and choose mid plane with the width of 5 mm okay. so if i have finished my line with this then i will not get the curved profile that is why i have extended the line and to provide the distance between these two points i have separated the line at this point Okay, now select the surface, click sketch, draw a circle, the circle diameter is 30 mm, go to features, click extruded cut, choose through all. 
okay now so this side circle is not a direct circle so there is some inclination so i am selecting the top plane click sketch select line and i'm going to draw a axis symmetric profile with a tapered section go to smart dimension so this gap the radius top side radius is 12.5 so the diameter is given as 25 similarly the bottom side is 11 okay. now go to features click revolve cut choose the center line then click okay now we have created the holes next i am going to choose fillet choose 3 mm fillet and select the edges we need to create the fillet So the fillet radius I have specified as 3 mm. Click OK. So if we want, we can apply the material. I'm choosing cast alloy steel. Finally, to create a hole at this location, I'm selecting the top plane. Click Sketch, and I'm going to create a small hole with a diameter of. 6 mm and the hole is located at a distance of 18 so the drawing is not fully constrained the reason is it is not directly aligned with the origin so i am selecting control select the origin and the center of the circle and make it as vertical now it is fully constrained go to features click extrude extrude cut choose through all both because i am going to create the cut in both the directions click okay You know, I have created the cut. Now, save this as part one. Now close this. To create another new part. So now I am going to draw the tapered pin. Select the front plane, click sketch, and. Uh, draw the profile go to smart dimension mark the dimensions it is m18 so the radius is 18 by 2 height of this region is given as 28 next the top radius is 12.5 so i have taken the dimension from the previous image i mean previous part then the height of this region sorry choose the point the height of this region is also 25 now go to features click revolved boss select the center and cre create the revolve now again select the front plane click sketch so now i am going to draw the top profile so draw a circle and another circle that coincides with the previous one so the distance between the circle and the top edge is 18 mm the radius of the circle is given as 10 so the diameter is 20 similarly the radius of this circle is also given it is 6 so the diameter is 12 now click control select the center point of the top circle and the origin and make it as vertical now i am going to draw a line from the top and i'm stopping it here now click control 
select the end point of the line and the circle and make it as coincident now click control select the line and the circle and make it as tangent now the drawing is fully constrained go to trim entities and trim the unnecessary regions now go to features click revolved boss select the center line click ok so finally I am going to create the thread here so go to whole wizard click thread select the starting point starting edge and starting face similarly choose up to selection and select this region okay so it is m18 thread click ok now i have created the thread i am applying the material as cast iron now we can save this as part 2 close this now click new and create a new part so the third part is a bush so select front plane click sketch draw two circles one of diameter 30 mm and another one of diameter 20 mm as the thickness is given as 5 mm go to features click extruded boss and extrude this to 37 mm now select the top plane click sketch draw a small circle to create the hole with a diameter of 6 mm just the same as the previous uh, I mean the first part and the distance is 18 mm now again click control select the center point of the circle and the origin and make it as vertical go to features choose extruded cut so just like the previous one choose through all both and I am applying the material as rubber now save this as part number 3 close this now click new and create a new part so the last part is a M18 nut so select the front plane choose polygon tool and draw a polygon then a circle inside that go to smart dimension mark the dimension I mean diameter of the circle as 18 mm as the pole size is m18 similarly here I am choosing diameter of 28 mm we'll go to features click extruded boss and I am extruding this to a width of 10 mm go to whole wizard choose thread select the starting edge then starting face and in the end condition choose up to selection and up to the end face so as it is an internal thread choose extrude thread trim with the start face and trim with the end face okay so now i have created the, the thread apply the material as cast alloy steel and save this as part number four now we are going to assemble it so choose assembly and I am starting from part 1 next go to insert component choose part 2 so change the direction with respect to X Okay. now go to mate select the two cylindrical surfaces and choose concentric similarly select these two surfaces and choose coincident mate now go to insert components 
insert part number three the bush go to mate select the two cylindrical surfaces then choose concentric mate similarly select the two holes and choose concentric mate now again go to insert component and insert the last part part four okay go to mate select the hole and the nut edge choose concentric mate similarly select two mating surfaces and choose coincident mate now we have completed the assembly of the machine handle thank you